going on? Lou with Bergen Pickers here, and today we're checking out a 1974 Tonka rescue vehicle. It's an emergency ambulance. So it's an ambulance, essentially, right? Um, it was released in 1974 and 75. Uh, this ambulance was featured in both those years as lookbooks. If you remember the, the catalogs, the Tonka catalogs, they were called lookbooks. Um, so that's what this is. So it's definitely used. It was definitely played with. But I thought it was really cool and I wanted to share this with you guys because it had a lot of different little features that made this, I guess, kind of exciting to play with. Um, so it came with a gurney. Um, as you see it here, it's complete. It, it came with a gurney, came with uh, one female doctor, one male doctor, and then a patient. Now, I've seen other sets with the exact same van have two male characters and one female and then also with different uh, clothing combinations. So I'm not sure if that's actually accurate, but I've seen it, you know, in places like eBay and uh, somewhere along the web and images and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty cool. I mean, each of the figures, you know, had uh, articulated legs. They could swivel their arms up and down on their heads. Um, shoes are on, either just, I think, painted on here, and then they obviously have clothes that can be removed, and they are Velcro strapped right there. Um, I don't see any notable hallmarks on the figures, but um, then again, I didn't really strip them down. But we got two girls and a boy toy. Um, and what I thought interesting about this van was that even though it's, it's you know, your typical press steel metal van, you know, it had its plastic parts, which is, you know, pretty common to the 1970s when it comes to Tonka toys. Dolls, obviously. So I'm, I'm thinking dolls and perhaps, you know, um, you know, just the overall look and feel of this. I'm thinking, hey, this could have probably been used for both uh, girls and boys. So it's kind of like a crossover, a gender crossover toy, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, so one of the cool features I thought was it, it actually had, you know, the pull and slide van door and it actually works. I'm going all the way. Let me just pull this up to you. Then you got, you know, I guess it's it's almost kind of sort of like a playhouse where you could, you know, I guess play inside as well, right? And that's really neat. You know, the detail on this is pretty pretty cool. So it's pretty heavy. The van itself, I would say, jeez, I don't know, at least five, six, seven pounds, probably around six pounds. Um, let's see. Let's move it to the back. There you go. You can open the door. It swivels open. Close it shut. There you have it. Really neat. I've seen a lot of other vans missing this top plastic part. I'm sure if it was roughly played with, this would eventually break off and then that'd be the end of that. But this one still has all the, the decals on it, even though some of it is peeling off or it's, you know, it's got a little wear to it. Um, just the overall look of it is really cool. It's got the Tonka logo, the grill right there. You know, not all just metal like it used to be in the 60s and 50s, but this one is actually just a decal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got the the roof that you can slide open like this, and then under it, under the plastic part, you can see the pressed steel metal piece right here, and I don't think it had any window here. You can literally reach right inside to probably make it easy to play with back then. So yeah, um, just wanted to share this one with you guys. If you've ever played with it or if you had it or if you know, I just brought back some memories, please leave some comments below. Like our video and please subscribe for more toy videos like this. Uh, our specialty is really in vintage, um, you know, all kinds of nostalgia and just vintage toys and items. Um, but my personal passion is, is you know, toys, retro stuff. So um, if you like it, give us a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon.